Hi guys, I am Mohammad Shahzad Arshad. Today, another video. We are going to add and uh, scan our hosts with the OpenVAS vulnerability scanner. As you guys know, in our last video, we have uh, installed OpenVAS and we saw how to install OpenVAS. So today we will start scanning and uh, we'll see how we can start. So let's go in our vCenter and start the OpenVAS. If I come here on my Kali Linux, I will click here. And here we can start to uh, see if our OpenVAS is running. So I will go just here and uh, I will just type OpenVAS and then we can see the first uh, this thing OpenVAS start. And it's required a password sudo to start the service. Okay, so it started 9392 port localhost loopback. So we will go, I'll close this one. And we'll go again in our web browser. Here is the Kali Linux browser. And we will go here, HTTPS. 127.0.0.1 is a port. Here we go. And if you're uh, opening first time, just go advance and accept and continue. We'll give admin, admin. Okay. Don't show that. Oh, our login failed. Maybe our user password was not set last time remember we tried let's let's try again and type here like uh, open west empty space user minus minus user equal admin and then minus minus new dash single minus password equal admin and enter ah, command not found because we have to give us sudo user enter remember okay and let's type again open was md space minus minus user equal admin minus minus new minus password equal I'm giving admin admin. Okay, it's done. So password is changed. Let's stop and restart the open OS again. So better to stop and then restart. Okay. Okay. So let's start again. Start again. Privileges password. Okay, here we go. So this is ready. The link nine three nine two. I will close my terminal and again we will go on web browser. Okay. Here we go. I'll type again. HTTPS and double backslash 127.0.0.1 and double colon 9392 hit enter here we go admin and admin okay so here is our dashboard so guys this is a open west dashboard if you see this is the main dashboard and if I can show you a little down, there is no scanning, but the nice look of uh, our OpenOS software. So second is uh, scans, if you want to do task reports and results. Third is assets, you can add your assets here. Scan info, configuration, uh, the port list and targets. And here is extras, my setting, uh, performances, administration. You can use the uh, groups and users and LDAP and other things and help menu. So let's go and uh, start one uh, 
once again so we will go here before I start I'll minimize this one and I'll check if I'm reachable to my domain controller so we can put it as a host one let's go for main domain controller if I can ping okay you cannot ping let's do one thing uh, I will check my settings here Ah, we have to close because in our last video we used internet to download the packs for open was so I'm gonna disconnect this one and I'm gonna connect my lab environment network so let's see if we can ping now okay connect it we go and ping again yes we can ping now and the ping is receiving now okay so I'll close this one because I have uh, installed two NIC cards to my Kali Linux because whenever I have to download uh, and update the things I go connect this one for internet and then when I have to scan and do my labs I do in my internal labs here so I use the, this uh, server VLAN though, so it can reach to my network only so outside uh, no connection back here and it's re reachable now let's see and start the scan first scan I will go in the scan and I'll go into the tasks here we go welcome window welcome to the scanning task management after three two seconds it will go down and then we'll start scanning I will go here and I'll ask task wizard here we go He's saying what is the IP address of the host 192.168.200.102 and I'll do start scanning okay here we go it's like if I go down here is immediate scan IP address this and requested and uh, after a little time it will take time and then it will start scanning not yet started let's refresh and see the progress okay see it started and one percent is uh, completed so it will go till hundred percent and uh, i will pause the video so when it's done this hundred percent i'll come back and uh, i'll will uh, proceed okay guys so see our scanning is completed and uh, here is the scanning if i click here i can see the things related to the scan see here is the scanning and it's done this is the like that how many minutes ago and if we go back and if we see the scan reports here is the scan and if i click here you can see the main report so here is the uh, total uh, critical severe and then high medium and low so these are all the things and if I click here any weak cipher suite if I click here one of them so you can see related that summary the vulnerability detection and then uh, solution what is there and then other things so if we go to the main this one and uh, the main vulnerability okay so see SMB things related and uh, one more if we go to the scan again our dashboard so you will see scanning dashboard and see the reports you can go into the reports from here as well one scan and one report and here is a bit different like one high four medium 
like low two and uh, this one is like this so let's go and add one uh, our cisco device also if it is so let's go in assets this time and add a host okay here we are in the host and i'll click add here we go 192.168.200.1 my core switch okay create okay here it is and if we go in our down into the host see the new host is added core switch and uh, still no skin yet so we can add target from here as well see create a target from host we'll go here and uh, you can say core switch and then it's from the target and the uh, credential for authentication check we can go ssh and i will go here username and password ssh creates and username is admin password is bak at one two three create okay so one target is created so we will go into the scan again i will do refresh one time okay and we will go into the scan and tasks okay so here i will click on the new task in the new task you see our target is already there so you can scan your target core switch already there and we can give a name List. okay that's it that's it and go for create okay so new scan is here so we will go and start scanning click here okay so it's requested so it will start So we can add all the host here and then you can give the target from the host as well. So I'll do refresh and where is started. Okay, so one person completed. I will pause the video when this one is done and we will come back to continue. Okay guys, I'm back and our code switch also completed this one. And if we see and we can click here to check the uh, related reports and things so here is uh, the task course which 3560 completed and done so if we go back to the reports scan and reports here we go with the reports and uh, nice bars and here is the main switch this one uh, which we scanned and uh, let's go and uh, click on that see so here is the results reports results uh, related to that switch and it's 10 and then 7 high and some more certificate expired vulnerability safer suit https cisco default password we detected uh-huh where is cisco cisco so we got it cisco cisco somewhere uh, maybe it's a uh, default password so other the enable secret we changed but the uh, default password is still there cisco cisco so these are the uh, vulnerability scanners you can check and then you can use it so it give us a nice uh, result reports and their solutions and uh, some other things so you can add also assets here and uh, on the asset dashboard you can check uh, there is two uh, assets here 
you can see here the history topology and the, in the dashboard you can check our like one switch and connect it to this way see so you can connect via this is our history uh, topology it will automatically create it if I, if I add another one because uh, connected via DNA uh, 53 uh, okay so uh, these are the other asset dashboards and same like as if our go the results and sports all there so I'll go back to dashboard main dashboard here we are and this was our you know um, vulnerability scanner open west so hopefully you like it you you can practice on it and then after that you can uh, go further deeper and deeper there is a lot of other things so we will go one by one so today's video till here hope you like my video if you uh, have any question answer kindly send in the down in the comments and if you like my video please uh, subscribe uh, my channels and press like and hit the bell icon for upcoming videos thank you very much